Hello and welcome to a new player review. Today we're going to have a look at uh, another SPC player, uh, this time from the Libertadores SPC. Uh, we completed the Sudamericana SPC a couple of days ago and we got this Bustos right back, uh, which was amazing. I haven't played any games with him since, uh, but because I liked him so much, I thought of completing the other SPC, getting this uh, center back, which at the beginning didn't look that great, but uh, I looked more in depth in his stats and it looks actually like a fantastic center back. Uh, this guy has a 77 gold card, so he gets 11 rating boost, but uh, he gets a massive, almost uh, over 100 total stats and about uh, 500 in-game stats, so his boost is massive. Uh, his stats look amazing, so I thought I can get this guy uh, and get the strong mid here so I can have him in. And also I get to try this Armani and uh, gold keeper. Uh, to see if he's worth anything uh, and because I want to complete that Zarate flashback uh, probably on uh, rewards day uh, see if we can pick up any high rated players or any forms that, to that SPC uh, I can have a good uh, perfect link to him or a nice uh, strong link here in a triangle maybe go into a 4 2 3 one or something like that uh, and also use this Acuna which I really like so um, with all that in mind uh, I went and completed this. Again, um, nothing um, close to what uh, Foot Thin Solutions will say. I completed this for somewhere, I want to say around uh, 90k or under, something like that. Uh, I was also lucky in a couple of the packs. One of them I got, um, what was it? I got uh, 86 um, walkout. I don't remember which one. Sold for 14k. And then another one I got uh, Man of the Match um, Almiron. Uh, I sold for 13k or something like that, so I got some coins back, so realistically it didn't really cost me that much, but it took me a few hours to complete. Like I said, uh, you have to be very thorough with this and trying to go through the players. Don't just look into the Libertadores League to find the players. Uh, a lot of leagues, a lot of players are spread out in different leagues, uh, in the Colombian League, uh, in the uh, of Chile League, and also in the Argentinian League, you will find uh, these uh, special black cards that are in the uh, Libertadores as well. So you have to be very thorough and check around uh, and it will cost you very little. So let's go ahead and have a look at this uh, guy. Uh, it's Lissandro Lopez um, from uh, Buenos Aires. It's going to be the team, so it's going to be Boca Juniors. Uh, he's 190, so he's like 6'3", something like that. Very tall player, medium high, great work, great work rates, uh, two-star skill moves and three-star weak foot. So that's all right. We don't care about the skill moves that much, but the weak foot at three star is okay. Uh, his details, we have overall pace 81 with 75 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. This is something that I'm really against uh, having acceleration so far behind sprint speed. So that's why we apply the shadow and we get acceleration to 90 and sprint speed to 94. So it's very close now, um, which looks uh, a lot better. Uh, no shooting. Uh, passing just a bare minimum with short pass at 95, which is excellent, and long pass at 80, nothing else there, no vision, no curve. Uh, dribbling is very high for a tall guy like this, uh, this amazing dribbling. 84 agility and 71 balance is fantastic for such a, a tall guy. Good reactions, great reactions on 96, good ball control, good dribbling, and very high composure at 96, so reactions and composure uh, are going to be a key to this guy uh, when having the ball. Defending, defending is uh, amazing at 89, 89 interceptions to 99, heading action 91 to 96, defensive awareness 87 to 97, uh, standing tackle to 94, and slide tackle to 99, so it's an amazing, almost maxed out defending uh, stats. Uh, and physical as well, uh, almost maxed out with jumping 99, so you're probably not missing anything in the air. Uh, strength 96 and aggression 96, so very strong player and very aggressive. Stamina 67 might look low, but uh, it's not going to be any issues. As a center back with uh, medium high, you won't have any issues with stamina. Even if you go into 120 minutes, uh, this guy is going to be fine. So this stamina uh, shouldn't uh, frighten you at all in getting a center back because they don't burn almost any stamina. So like I said, the card is looking amazing. I'm very, very excited to go and try him out. So let's go into a couple of games and uh, test this guy out and see if he's worth completing. Okay, so here is our first opponent. Uh, what a key. All right, so it's gonna be a tough game. 
Let's see uh, what this card is made of. We're going to go in the 41212 narrow and we'll try the new SPC Libertadores uh, Lissandro Lopez at center back. Yes. Hey, nice ball. I don't know what he was doing there in defense. And then Lopez, good string. Yes. Nice horses. And he scores, of course. Get him. Nice. Where's it? Turn. Shoot. Oh, what a goal. What a card. Ooh, they get her. Oh, Cunha. Oh, bad touch for me. No. Poor nil. Oh. Ah, that was terrible defending. There it is. And yet her. 5 1. Where's it? What a goal. What a volley. Thought he would have been gone uh, some time ago. Anyways, uh, what a great game. Um, Lopez, we didn't get to see that much. This guy wasn't really attacking. I don't know. Uh, so we didn't have that many attacks coming our way, just one or two occasions. Um, so not contributions, so four and four passes, one on one dribbles, uh, one failed tackle. And that's about it from Lopez. Like I said, as you can see, minus one stamina burn, nothing really there. Uh, so excellent game uh, for the team, but nothing really that we saw from Lopez. So. Uh, let's go into another game. So, uh, here's our second opponent. Uh, very nice team. Uh, Budrageno, Neymar, Benyetter, Bernardo Silva. Very good uh, attacking players. Good defense. So, let's see how we do here. Uh, we're going to go in the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow again in this uh, game. And we'll try SBC Libertadores uh, Lisandro Lopez at center back. Lopez, got a great awareness there. Shoot. Yes, please. 1 0. Shoot. For me, no, yes. 1 0. 2 0. No. Yeah, good turn there. Spot a tackle. There he is. Go. Fast. Nice ah, covering there. Lopez? No. There it is. Nice, Lopez. Excellent tackle. No. Ah. So that was game. Uh, I don't know how I lost that game. Terrible mistake there at the end. Uh, Lopez with uh, 8.2. Uh, not a lot of work, actually, because there wasn't a lot of chances by my opponent, but he was there every time I needed him. Uh, no contributions on goal, but six on six passes, seven on eight dribbles, uh, four and four tackles, 100% completion. So he's fantastic in his uh, tackling and intercepting. Um, he feels really solid at the back. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> what can I say? Anyways, um, but we didn't get to see a lot of him. So let's go into another game. So this is our next opponent. Uh, Couple of fitness cards, throw them up in Yetter. Awesome and not fully upgraded. Maybe he's doing the objectives now. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go in the 41212 formation again and we'll try SBC Libertadores. Um, Lissandro Lopez at center back. Four six one ball. Shoot and score. There we go. One no. There he is. Get him. Nice. Get a fucking nice tackle there by Lopez. Nice by Lopez. Nice. Lopez again. Nothing goes past him. <laughs> Lopez. A lot of stance there. He knew exactly where the ball was going. That was great. Uh, 
All right, so uh, I got a bit frustrated there, as you saw, uh, because uh, the game was fine. All of a sudden, it started freezing and lagging, getting speed up uh, lag, and then I got a disconnect. It got kicked off uh, Ultimate Team. Um, I had the same problems yesterday when trying to find games. Uh, I don't know what's the hell with these servers, man. I mean, anyways, um, I'm not going to go into another game. Uh, it was an excellent performance by Lopez. It's um, too bad I can't see his uh, uh, stats, but they were amazing uh, for that game. Probably would have won the game anyways, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm really happy with the uh, uh, results. Um, I was unlucky for the two games not to get the win. One disconnect and one uh, draw at the last minute or second. Uh, but I really like this guy. Um, he's sort of a mixture of where he is agile, but not that agile. Uh, but he does feel very nice uh, to control and uh, he is quick to turn although he's very big very uh, Tall he's like 6'3 like we said uh, But the main thing with him is his defending and physical is amazing You see his stats are very high, but you can also tell in game um, That they're amazing uh, His tackles are very very good his interceptions, but uh, he also goes in with a lot of strength uh, and there, he doesn't leave a lot of options to the attacker to walk away with the ball. He goes in and he just demolishes the opponent. Uh, the other good thing is his awareness is very, very good. He knows where to stand and he makes a lot of interceptions, uh, which is amazing. Um, his passing, only the short pass that we used is, is very good. Like you see, 95, so uh, nothing else there. His speed is also very good with the shadow. Uh, he feels quick to come back and defend, so chase down a, um, an attacker uh, when he's like on a counter attack or something like that. Uh, because he does uh, get up when you have corners, he is in the near post, so I don't know, um, it's probably because of his jumping and his heading accuracy, but he get to win a header, but it's probably good. Um, actually, we did win a header, but it went really wide, so there was no accuracy there. So all in all, I rate him like a really good defender, I really, really liked him. Uh, out of uh, all the defenders that I'm using right now, I think he's one of the top two or three uh, that I use. Uh, the other one that I really like to use, and maybe a bit more than this Lopez, is going to be the uh, Shapeshifter Zakaria, Zakaria, which is really nice. But this guy is really, really good as well. So uh, for pairing him with this guy and uh, getting the strong link, and also Armani and Gold, surprisingly, he's very good. I really, really like him. Uh, I really like this uh, combination right here. Uh, so with that in mind, I will also complete the Zarate SPC and put him in with the, this uh, Argentinian link uh, and see how that Zarate goes as well. So I really, really like him. From that side of the Libertadores, I believe he's going to be the only good option. Uh, that striker is not good at all with that agility and balance. It's terrible, that flashback card. Uh, the other option is that CDM. But we just recently had that Marcelo Diaz, which is, if not the same, probably a bit better, I want to say. So that was an option for me as well. So I would say that this is only the proper option. And uh, this is a very good, viable, uh, and the meta solution for the game right now. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.